Hi everybody, I'm Leah. And I'm Giselle. And I'm going to be starting with This Week in Sports. On Sunday, February 7th, it will be the 55th Super Bowl, where um, Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will be facing uh, Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, this is Tom Brady's 10th Super Bowl in his lifetime, which is an in incredible achievement. Um, and it makes him one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. But at, um, in actuality, um, the Kansas City Chiefs are favored to win the Super Bowl with Patrick Mah Mahomes, who has shown incredible talent um, during his Super Bowl win last year when they played against the San Francisco 49ers. In basketball, the Golden State Warriors won against the Dallas Mavericks on February 4th, um, 147 to 116, where one of our newest additions, Kelly Oubre, scored a career high of 40 points. Um, since there was potential of trading Kelly Oubre to get um, another um, shooting guard to fill his position, um, this win sort of makes his trade value much higher um, as well as it makes it him incredibly important to our team. Um, in other basketball news, the 2021 All-Star Games are coming, um, but many players like Chris Paul and LeBron James are um, not really excited about the games. Um, LeBron James especially finds this as a slap in the face um, to all NBA players because supposedly since the season is cut down to 71 games, um, players were told that there was not going to be a All-Star game. It just made many players unhappy about the situation. In the NHL, it has been confirmed that many players will play for Team USA in the Olympics in 2022 which is next year. Um, depending on COVID restrictions, this might vary, but some players include Patrick Kane and Brock Bozer. Um, and here's Giselle. Um, COVID-19 mutations have caused new variants to arise, which pose some difficulties and puts into question the vaccine's effectiveness. Some new variants have shown to be untouched by the vaccine or the body's natural defenses. Producers of the vaccine have begun to look for ways to change the vaccines in order to keep up with the virus's evolution. Scientists have been disquieted by the, by the idea that certain mutations could abate a person's immune response. This means that people with the vaccine may, st may still be able to be infected with new variants. On January 21st, Anthony Fauci said that currently authorized shots have a long way to fall before they might become ineffective. Currently, there are only a few variants that have negative effects, such as B117, which is more transmissible, B1351, which has similar changes to the prior variant mentioned, and a variant called P1, which may also be of concern, but nothing is set in stone yet. Luckily for us, some vaccines are easy to update, such as a new mRNA version of Pfizer and Moderna, which can be made in the lab in a couple of days. On January 25th, Moderna announced that they are now running clinical trials to test whether a third dose of the vaccine could be implemented. Moderna is also planning to test a shot that uses proteins from the COVID variant in South Africa. As for Pfizer, the company is currently working on tweaking its vaccine to be, ma to be made effective to variants as well. And now on to international news, Giovanni. Thanks, Giselle. In international news, mass protests have broken out across Russia after politician and activist Alexei Navalny was arrested and imprisoned when he returned to Russia from the US. Navalny is widely known for organizing protests against the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, and corruption within his government. Over 5,000 protesters have been detained by Russian police and reports of police brutality in Russia has flared. In India, the Delhi police have, have filed a case against Swedish environmental activist Greta Thunberg after she tweeted in support of farming protests throughout the country. Amidst the protests, the Indian government made the controversial decision to shut down internet access across protest areas. 
In her tweet, Thunberg shares a toolkit which people could use to help advocate for farmers' rights in India. That toolkit can be found below. Bringing it back to California, as part of Phase 1A, healthcare workers and long-term residents are now being vaccinated against COVID-19. As supplies allow, individuals working in education, emergency services, and agriculture will be prioritized for vaccination. Over 3 million doses have been allocated across California so far, and the first two vaccines have up to 95% effectiveness. That's all for international news. Now we have Rosie who is going to give this week's school news. This week in school news, we're back in regular classes after finishing expeditions. Um, we also have the college fair going on, so um, emails will be sent to you and have been sent to you about the college fair. Basically, you can go to different Zooms and meet um, college ad admissions counselors um, and ask any questions that you may have about those colleges. So that's it for school news. Have a good day.